What's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today on Lunchtime with My Gear VR, we are going to check out some horror, black and white style. That's right. So, you know, the big news today is is that Wilson's Heart is releasing for the Oculus Rift, and I am stuck at work, so I can't run home and play it. So, I started looking through the Gear VR store, and this one actually caught my eye. It's another black and white horror title featuring the voiceovers of Boris Karloff. So I was intrigued. I thought, what the hell? I can't play Wilson's Heart for a few more hours. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> okay. Well, that's always a good thing to start with is a blood curdling scream. So standing here looking at a coffin. So I think, I think I'm like in some sort of a mortuary here. Um, but yeah. All right. So let's go explore it. Now, first and foremost, I do got to give props to the developers for adding full controller support. And when I say full, I mean full FPS style. So true forward, back, and strafing on the left stick and turning on the right stick. So, yeah, I just, I, I wish more developers would, you know, take that to heart and just put the traditional controls back in their games. And that's it, blah, blah, blah. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, all right, what do we got here? up a note there. Okay. Miss something important. Okay. Well, we will definitely try to go slow through here. So go through the first door. Oh, well, you just told me to move, to move slow and explore, so... Um, look down on my feet. Oh, okay. I got a health, a score, a pickup, and a timer. So, definitely a gameplay element to this. There is the man himself. Uh, I believe that is Boris Karloff. Really like the, the the radio stuff going on in the background too. Oh, but I don't like that growling. Um, something bad's gonna happen. And and oh yeah, that's cool. A little splash of color, like the hands against the window there. So oh, big splash of color. A lot of blood in the sink which is hugely oversized, by the way. So, yeah, I'm not really going to harp on the technical aspects of this, but the scaling in here is really, really awesome. Mm, it's alive. Oh, I just said that. Ha <laughs> Don't go very near of it. So, a little strange in the translation there. Um, and yeah, the scaling. So, you know, developers, if you're watching this, the one thing I would say is work on your scaling. Like, you know, certain aspects like the hall here look pretty good, but the door, the, the toilet, the sink, I mean, everything looks just a little large. Oh, hey, lady. Uh, I was like sitting there just like zoning out on that picture and all of a sudden it comes to life. So very cool. All right. It's like Resident Evil. Can I save? Nope. What have I done? Something terrible definitely happened. What was this place? What was behind those awful, okay, so, ominously closed doors? Um, I don't know, Something but... Something seemed to be drawing me on, on down the terrible passageway. Well, yeah, the only thing terrible about the passageway there, Boris, is, is that it just made a big circle. Uh, there's got to be more to explore, right? No, we're back in the same hallway. So, did I miss something? Move slower what? for the next corner. Okay. Ah! Um, hey, sir, we don't eat people. Okay? Oh, what, what? Oh! Get out! Run away! Run away! Where was I? Ooh! Uh, no! Oh, I did not. It did not get me. I got through the door. Oh, well. Okay. 
We'll go ahead and give it one more shot here. And then I've got a burrito that's got my name all over it. Okay, so it starts me right back at the beginning here. Find all the missing pieces of the picture. Well, I think I had actually found one, um, the one that was taped to the wall in here. Oh, but I gotta start all the way back at the beginning. started again. Ah, see, I, I want positional tracking so bad. Oh, that's dude eating another dude there. I ain't going back in there. Okay, music is over now. I'll go in there. Um, what? No. No, no, -uh. what, what the hell are you supposed to do to get away from this dude? Oh, what's back here? Oh. Okay, we'll try one more time here. Because now I'm intrigued. I want to know why I'm dying. Twitch, twitch. Oh, that kind of looks cool. It's a good 3D effect. Okay. Okay, freaky lady. Typewriter. Something terrible happened. Where was I? What was this place? So, you know, another what note to the developers on this. You might actually put in a little... Something must be drawn on down the terrible passageway. Where was I? What was this place? No, well, that's not a piece what of the picture. Let's go backwards this time. Can I go backwards? No. Something so it looks like it's a very linear track. You just got to kind of move in circles way. over and over and over again. And okay, why am I not? What? Ridiculous. No, that is ridiculous. This is like the third time I've done this. Can I not open the door now? Like Satan wants to play here. You are safe now. Oh, no, no! Oh, run! Run! I got a piece of the picture finally, I think.
level two of horror is on. Find the second piece. All right. Well, there's not too many places I can go here, man. So go back in this room. Okay, maybe the bathroom this time. hating on this don't get me wrong oh rocket chair but it's just so damn repetitive i'm just i'm just running around in a circle here go slow for the next turn oh smack got hit by a chair oh oh no dude uh-uh you want it come on bring it you just gonna stand there did he just point at me? Oh, that thing again. Did he just point it at you? <laughs> uh, yes, he just pointed at me. Uh, no, 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 get, get out of my face. Oh, right in my face. All right, well, I think I've had enough. I, I'm definitely not going to be able to find the pieces of the picture today. So, but overall, you know, it's not a bad experience. I mean, it, it definitely had that cool black and white film noir. And, you know, the sound effects were all right as far as the uh, the Boris Karloff stuff in the background. The the thunder sound effect, man, if I was wearing headphones, it'd probably blow my eardrums out because that, that was really loud. Um, and the repetitiveness, you know. So developers, if you're watching, you know, man, give us more rooms to explore. Give it, Give us more in this experience and and polish it up a little bit and i think this would be great but uh for me today guys that is gonna do it like i said i got a burrito calling my name but as always if you watch to the end of the video and you made it this far i salute you thank you so much for sticking around and uh, checking out what I do here on Lunchtime with my Gear VR and on my channel. And if this was your first time coming by, I so appreciate you coming by to take a look and we'll see what I do here. And if you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page and take a look through my videos. You never know what you're going to find in there. And hit up my sidebar, see what my brothers in the VR spies are doing. It's a great group of guys that I am blessed to be friends with out here on YouTube. And we're all out here working every day to bring you the best in virtual reality content and if you're not a first timer if you guys are already subscribers on the channel man thank you so much we are in the quick quick downward slope to 5,000 subscribers and I owe that to each and every one of you for all that you do so keep liking it tweeting it sharing it if it's your first time coming in smash subscribe man come along with me the next time I become a old timey movie character in VR or whatever else the heck I'm going to do. But for me today, that is going to do it. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off. Peace.